Unfortunately, the nature of evil is very easy to identify. Because we live in a world now when uh, things can repeat themselves. Historically, probably not the way it was, but it points in that direction. And uh, there's one thing, if we have a wake-up call now, we have a wake-up call by Iran. I'm so we would I talk about the United States as a free world. That there's a man who's aiming for destruction. He wants to the destruction of humanity. He does not plan living because he rejoices in killing. And this is a wake up call to the whole world. If you let anti Semitism and bias and discrimination against other people because of religion can only lead to disaster. Can only lead because other Semitism can bring in to multiple killings. And this is what he's advocating. And unless we take serious, serious consideration what to prevent, how to prevent this this evil that is still around. We should be on the lookout. Anything that has to do against humanity, either shape or form, I don't, I don't care how it is done, or by internet, or by most modern equipment, or simply by developing weapons of mass destruction to try to knock down other countries who bore you or who do not bother you that you can develop missiles who can reach any place in the world and try to stop it. This is the best prevention. Or through education, the colleges, students especially, in every, every college should be exposed to what happened in, in, in the 20th century. In the world should not repeat itself, God forbid because it's for their own good. Not, not, they cannot go around with complacency that this can never happen to them. Be thought the same way, and we were mistaken.